Hey guys, this is Rick at Tasty Guitar. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the techniques from one of the absolute giants in R&B and soul guitar, Mr. David T. Walker. Even though some of you might not know his name, his recording and touring credits read like a who's who of the music industry, including people like the Jackson 5, Barry White, Stevie Wonder. He played over 2,500 albums in addition to 15 solo albums. He's mostly known for his incredible left hand technique and the beautiful chord embellishments that kind of come from that. That's the stuff we're going to be working on today and this stuff is really essential to be playing in an authentic R&B and soul style. So tune up and let's get started. All the examples we'll be playing today are going to require a little bit different right hand technique than you might be used to. Instead of playing down here in the normal place we strum, we're going to play up on the neck a little bit to get a real nice warm sound. Also, the chords are going to be using kind of a brush technique, a real slow movement like a drag across the strings instead of a quick strum like this. It's going to be that kind of motion. This first example is going to be based on a C major 7 chord down here at the 3rd fret. Now what we're doing is we're going to start with our pinky lifted here and getting basically a C major 9 sound. Then we're going to resolve by putting that pinky down on the major third of the chord. And that's something that's very common starting on a note that is outside the chord below it and then resolving to a chord tone. And then I'm going to hit a note above it, the fifth of the chord, the G note up here. Of course, you could also do this as a hammer on. So two, two different ways here. Picked. And also notice that I'm kind of just brushing across the strings to get a real nice warm sound. So that first example was with a root 5 major 7 chord. That is a major 7 chord with this shape with the root on the 5th string. We can do the same thing with the root on the 6th string by starting in this shape, which is also a C major 9, and we are going to kind of drag across the strings, have this 9 note down here, the D note, and then resolve to the E note, the major 3rd, by placing it down there. Also, you could hammer it. This next example, we're going to be embellishing a minor 7 chord, and this is a really common thing you'll hear. I'm going to be using this voicing down here at the 5th fret, doing this really light brush across the strings here, get up to that F note, and then add on the next note in the scale above it as an embellishment. and then resolve with the fifth of the chord up there on the high E string. You could also do this as a hammer-on. Another really common and beautiful embellishment you hear a lot on minor 7 chords that David T. Walker kind of pioneered is the use of the flat 7 up here. So I'm just basically kind of doing this little hammer-on pull-off. Nice brush, light brush across the strings. And then picking the minor third of the chord afterwards. Another really common embellishment you'll hear on this minor seven is to brush up to that F, hammer pull off on the G note, and then end on that flat seventh note, the C note right there. So these two are just really essential. You hear them all over the place. All right, so now let's just do a little exercise that uses some of those shapes that we learned just a minute ago. Remember to start slow. So we did an example earlier using the root 5 minor 7 chord. That was like the D minor thing down there we did at the 5th fret. 
but we could also do something with the root 6 minor 7 chord. So if we wanted to do something there, like say on this A minor, just do something similar. I could even take off the root and make it a little bit easier to play. I'll now play an example kind of moving this shape between two chords. I'm going to play one more example for you, something that you should practice really slowly to kind of help tie all this technique together. Now it's also important to note that because the chords I'm going to be playing in this progression are all diatonic to C major, the notes that you're going to embellish with or kind of add to the chords are also going to be coming from the C major scale, something you should think about when transposing this to other keys. Now it's also worth mentioning in a band situation you might not need to play the full chord which makes playing this stuff a lot easier which we don't have to play the root down below. Alright guys thank you so much for coming by today and checking out this David T. Walker lesson on the beautiful chord embellishments that he kind of pioneered in this style. Um, so make sure you practice this stuff slowly. It does kind of take a little while to kind of build up that pinky strength that uh, you're probably not used to doing. And also try them in different keys as well. Uh, as always, if you did enjoy the lesson, please like, share, and subscribe. Come by TastyGuitar.com where I have a lot of other free lessons for you. And I do offer private instruction via Skype. This has been Rick. Thank you very much.